I've noticed you've made a couple of modifications to the bed this year. There didn't used to be a canopy. That's right. We've now, is that is that an aerodynamic change? Uh, no, it isn't. <laughs> oh, so so we want to slow down a little bit, you know. Oh, give fast. other people a chance. Yeah. <laughs> so, what is the training regimen involved that you guys go through every year that you always put you in right near the top or at the top? I, I don't know. We just we just work out day and night. <laughs> what is the secret training regimen that you guys have come? you are prepared for this bed race today? Well, we all pretty much run every day. So. We've been channeling cool runnings. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get in the bobsled state of mind. Yeah, they, work, they work on habitat build sites, so they do physical labor on a regular basis. Now, I, I do notice a little interesting thing. How do you steer it? How do we steer it? <laughs> different sides. You push from different sides. We were planning I, on it turning. should be known this bed was made in less than a week with $45 of bob materials and other materials from Habitat for Humanity Restore that we just found there. So, um, yeah, this is uh, this is something that it works, which is really cool. Well, honestly, <laughs> it's more like seasoned veterans, first of all. <laughs> we've won this a couple years in a row. Not in a row, but we've won it a couple years. And, um, you know, we just figured we'd make an appearance, give the crowd a thrill. What's the deal with the bed here? I mean, most of them don't have wiring. Oh, uh, we had a siren. Do we have a siren still? I wasn't in charge of setting it up. Normally we have a siren that's going off, but today Would... Michelle's going to scream like a siren the whole way down. Really? <laughs> Can you give us an example? <laughs> no, no, just a little example. Yeah. No. First, do the two we, need, we, need to, we need to hit the siren no, sound. No, i got to practice first. I can't do it impromptu like this. <laughs> oh, everything you go oh, through. Oh, yeah. We've had two full practices, which lasted about 15 minutes. <laughs> wow. Now that you know, that seems to be just exponentially more than most other teams. Do you think that's going to be the thing that that brings it home for you guys today? I think that, and uh, I think our bed's a little smaller than some of these other beds. I think Does that make a difference? And and do you think, like for example, some of the aerodynamic properties of other beds, such as the, the canopy bed there or the the non-steerable bed, are going to affect their <laughs> their chances today? I think the wind resistance for that orange bed right there could really hurt them. And uh, not being able to steer may affect us also. Okay. Whose bed is this? Uh, this is our NX bar team. Um, Offensive trail. Is there a requirement that, re that means the bed must have four wheels? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, there's no requirement? It will have four wheels. Oh, it will? Yeah. Because I noticed the missing yeah. spot. It will. It will. In a little bit. Okay. It should. Oh, yeah, it's it's no, no. Now, it will be or should, there, there's a couple of big differences there. It would be easier. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Cut there. That. There you are. Practiced. All right. Congratulations! Thanks! Okay, so what kind of training was it that paid off for this big win today? Well, I don't know, just you know, being able to, to train a little bit. All we did was get together a few days ago and we just practiced our stride, getting in, in sync with everything and you know, that, good that, kicks. That seems to be about double what most people practice, but less than a couple did. So Yeah, I know. We, we did okay, I think. <laughs> 